We're back at it, second semester. Um, we had the week off last week and um, the Midlands tournament before that. Uh, happy to say we came out healthy out of that tournament, which is probably the, the biggest goal um, coming out of that thing. It's a grind. We had a champion in Seth Gross. Um, avenged his loss to Austin DeSanto, as well as being the outstanding wrestler. Team was fourth. Um, we got a heck of a challenge this weekend with, with two top five ranked teams in, um, in heading to Minnesota and then coming back against Nebraska. So uh, excited to kick off the Big Ten season, and uh, this is what it's all about. Questions? Carissa. Coach, what's next for Seth Gross? How can he keep improving knowing that he's going to face DeSanto again? Yeah, Seth's getting better and better. You know, he's coming off a major back injury um, that that we had to really curtail his training for you know the first semester uh, to see how he would respond to to uh, how his back would respond. So now that um you know all the all the trial and experiments are out of the way and he's held up completely, um, I think it's exciting that we can train him a little harder. We can train him the way he needs to be trained and the way he wants to be trained. And uh, the sky's the limit. I think you're going to see a better Seth Gross every single match from here on out. Okay. Again. <laughs> um, so you mentioned the team came away healthy, but after Midlands, is there any clarity in the lineup going forward? Yeah, well, I, th I think at 174, Jared Kratinger has um, won the spot for now. And then at 157, Drew Sharonbrock kind of rose above those other, other couple of guys at that weight class. Um, uh, Sharonbrock placed at the Midlands tournament, and Kratinger came one match away. Uh, at 97, we're still got two guys in the running, but I, I would tell you right now that um, the lineup's getting 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 um, uh, solidified, and you know we're looking for you know again it's uh, it's not 100% done. We're looking for someone in those three weight classes to really step up, and uh, it's still close. Uh, but we're um, we're excited about the lineup we're about to put out there against uh, Minnesota Friday night. Patrick, coach, for somebody who has not been to a Wisconsin wrestling match on Sunday, you guys host the number five team in the country. Tell us what the atmosphere is like for a Wisconsin home wrestling match for those of us who have not been to one before. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's a, it's electric. You know, we try to make it um, we try to make it loud. We try to make sure that everybody's having a good time, uh, and and you'll um, I really believe you'll enjoy it. We have a very exciting team this year. Um, I think sometimes when uh, fans show up at the wrestling matches and there's two good guys out there and you see a one one match, it's very boring. Um, our guys go out, score points. Our guys get excited. Um, we have some of the best fans in the country. They're excited. They're going to yell at the ref. They're going to yell at the other coaches, <laughs> you know, so it's, um, it's, it, it's a very exciting family friendly. Um, you know, we try to, we try to, you know, make, make it, um, you know, chaos in there and, um, music's loud and hopefully we can, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a great crowd too, from what I hear about tickets and, um, all these high schools that are, that are coming down. So it, it's going to be a fun experience and, and you're going to see a lot of, um, you know, a lot of ranked matchups. Uh, Nebraska has a very, very good team, and I want to say almost all of their guys are ranked, uh, all 10 guys up and down the lineup. So there's going to be a lot of ranked matchups. And basically what you're going to see, I would tell you, is if you went to the NCAA tournament, you're going to be watching the quarterfinals and the, and the semifinals of the NCAA tournament in about eight matches. George? Coach, with how long it's taken for you guys to get a home match, just how the wrestling season goes, you know, go out for me, so many away matches like at Iowa. How much do the guys look forward to these home matches in Madison? Well, they look forward to it, um, and, and a lot, really. But what, what people don't understand is I built the schedule this way. Um, we, we, don't, we don't fly the second semester, you know, except for the Big Tens. Uh, we're, 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 we're home. We're close. You know, the whole month of February, I believe, we're home. And um, that, that's the way it's planned. Well, I'd rather get them on the road early. Uh, and, um, you know, test them, make them come together as a team. And then now when we're home, we get more training days. We don't have to travel as much. And that's what it's about in the second semester is being able to, to travel, compete, correct your mistakes, get better, uh, heal up. And you, it's hard to do that when you're on the road. So um, they're excited to be back. You know, they've got, we've got a great fan base. So it's, uh, it's going to be fun to wrestle in front of them. Um, Coach, looking at the rest of your schedule, literally like every week is a ranked match, it seems, and they're all Big Ten. What does that say about, you know, Big Ten wrestling first of all? And second of all, I think Kelly Sheffield said this during the regular season about how the strength of the conference schedule really helps you for the postseason. So once you get there, it's kind of like, oh, this is just like a regular season. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. This is the best conference in the country for wrestling. 
And um, what it what it's doing is is these guys that we're wrestling now. Seriously, you're gonna you're gonna be wrestling them in the quarters and the final and the semis and the finals of the NCAA tournament. So it helps us to wrestle them once, especially our program. Uh, every time we we usually get better the second time we wrestle somebody. So um, we're able to game plan and strategize. But it, it gives you a false sense if you um, this time of year if you're wrestling teams that aren't that good, or it gives you a false sense of how good you really are. So we're excited that you know. We're basically every week our guys have to get up for the quarterfinals, semifinals, the national tournament when you're competing in the Big Ten. Um, it doesn't get any easier. You know, next week we've, we've got uh, what number? I don't know what Ohio State is, but they're, they're, they're in the top five or six as well. So um, we, it's time. It's time to get up, uh, get fired up, and, and, and show up every, every weekend. Yeah, Ohio State's number three. <laughs> um, speaking of getting fired up, is there any added excitement for an opponent like Minnesota? in a border battle. Yeah, for sure. Um, I wish we could take that axe with us up there and, 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 uh, <laughs> and parade it around for, for the duel. But, um, no, it's Minnesota. It's, it's a heck of a rivalry. Um, they've got a great program. You know, they're down here stealing our recruits. Um, we're up there stealing theirs. There's, there's a lot more that goes into this match. We want to win this one real bad. Um, our guys want to win this one real bad. So it'll, um, I think it's going to be very exciting.